So the difference between the CFI PTS and other testing standards is the completion standards don't have any metrics. They don't have anything like plus minus 100 feet, plus minus whatever. So let me show you that. So I have the PTS for flight instructor pulled up here. Flight instructor PTS, that's currently what it is, this one, right? So again, the front matter of this is quite, quite big. So let me move this out the way so I can lazy eights, right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> it says to determine the athlete exhibits instructional knowledge of the elements of lazy eights by describing. So this is described like a knowledge thing, these things. Loop symmetry. And exhibits instructional knowledge of common errors related by these are the common errors. So if you want to know what the common errors are, if you're generating your own lesson plans, which I would not do. Uh, these are where they are. You can just get ours. And they're, they're good. Demonstrate and simultaneously explains lazy eights from a structural standpoint. <clears throat> Analyzes and corrects uh, simulated common problems related by lazy eights, but there's no nothing there. That's it. So where's the plus minus 100 feet, plus minus 10 degrees, all that? It's in the appropriate ACS for commercial or private or recreational, depending on what it's. So, so for example, S turns across the road are only done for uh, sport, private, recreational, are not done for commercial. So the standard for that would be the private pilot ACS. So if you're doing a lazy eight, where is that at? That's in the commercial pilot ACS, right? We know where that's at. So that's going to be uh, here. And then if we go to that <clears throat> function, we might as well just do that, right? That's performance maneuvers. Again, the FAA used the broad term performance maneuvers because then they can make it whatever they want. If they say lazy eights, it's codified into the regulation, and then there's no way to change that except for. It. So this is performance and ground reference maneuvers. So here, this is area of operation five, <clears throat> task A. These are the references here. And then there's also sometimes <clears throat> something important here. If there's a note here, you need to click it. Let me show you what the note says. So what? let's look at the air of operation first, then we'll look at the note. <clears throat> so this is task A, is steep turns. And now you see there's knowledge nuggets here, there's risk management, and there's the completion standards, the metrics right here, right? So these, you'll be tested to this, right? But your instructional knowledge, the PTS says you have to have instructional knowledge of it. And task B is steep spiral here.